Hey, this is Mark Moore, aka Tuxedo Mark, in various places on the internet. It just turned 3 12 p.m., like a split second after I had record um, on Tuesday, March 24, 2015, uh, according to the computer clock. Uh, this is my re uh, review of original Sailor Moon anime episode number 33 The Last Sailor Warrior Sailor Venus Appears. This episode originally aired in Japan on November 21st, 1992. Okay, as you can tell from the title, hugely, hugely important, crucial, vital episode. Yes. I think I'm, okay, have I made that clear? Okay. Um, starts out meeting in the Dark Kingdom. This is Soicide's last chance. They have to find a way to get the two sailor crystals that Tuxedo Mask stole, according to Queen Beryl, away from him. Soicide uh, says that uh, it's always you know Tuxedo Mask that comes to rescue Sailor Moon whenever she's in danger. Okay, Kunsite's gonna help with this plan. Basically, Soicide is impersonating Sailor Moon and being a hero by, you know, foiling bank robberies and saving people and all of that other stuff. Um, and, uh, so, it's weird. Luna's taking a nap on the couch and she wakes up to watch a news report about Sailor Moon. You know, Zoe so said trust the Sailor Moon is on the camera in the background. She mistakes Zoe so said for Usagi. How? It's obvious that she doesn't really look quite like Usagi. How can Luna, of all people, go Usagi? What? Anyway, later on, uh, my mom was like in the library or something, and these window washers, uh, <sighs> soy side or coon side sets the up where the rope, yeah, just rope, that's holding them up, uh, it, like, disintegrates and they're in danger of, uh, you know, falling, and... Even Mamoru is confused when he sees Sailor Moon up here. But since he knows he's Tuxedo Mask now, won't he remember what Sailor Moon looks like? Won't he know that that's not Sailor Moon? I don't get why he's confused. And, um... Anyway, during the street scene, and by the way, Usagi's on the ground... Um, witnessing this, and Minako and uh, Artemis are uh, standing a short distance away. They're witnessing it when Usagi's like, you know, being confused over like who's impersonating her and stuff like that. So, this is our first look at Minako and Artemis. Uh, they are, uh, they're introduced without any real fanfare. They're just standing there on the street uh, looking. And um, basically, Kunsight is has captured Sailor Moon. You know, he, he, hanging up from uh, I, I forget from, from what it was, but it's in a shipyard. Uh, like you know, by the ocean, and uh, so uh, when the Senshi arrive and everything, and uh, they see that Kuzai, and then someone pieces together. Oh, he looks like he's from the Dark Kingdom. Smart, smart, because you know the uniforms. But anyway. Uh, <laughs> Kunsan refers to himself as one of the four kings of heaven. I might be getting uh, the classic anime and crystal confused in my mind. Have they ever used the term four kings of heaven? 
in the classic anime before this point. This is what happens when you watch the original and Crystal simultaneously. Uh, it's like... It. Anyway, uh, if anyone can straighten that out, please let me know. Um, so Mamoru and Tuxedo Mask, later on, it's the same guy, but obviously he's he's confused over all of this, and I, I don't see why, really. When, uh, you know, Suicide's attacking Tuxedo Mask and knocks his mask off his face, you can see Mamoru's face. Beryl's watching all of this through a crystal ball, and she reacts. She's like, <gasps> "So she has some kind of like recognition or something of Mamoru, I guess." It's so powerful that, in fact, at the end, she tells uh, Soisa and Kutsa to call off their attack and return to the Dark Kingdom because her plan has changed. But anyway, this proves that the only thing protecting Mamoru's identity is that stupid mask. That's it. There's no magic behind it. Despite the fact that uh, the costume itself seems to be magical because we see uh, Mamoru like transform earlier on and he can detransform as well. We saw that too. Despite that, it's really just the mask that's concealing people from that's concealing his face, basically. Because without the mask, Beryl seems to recognize him. <sighs> Usaki's an idiot. Anyway, um, we see Crescent Beam twice, in fact. First, Venus is like in the shadows when she does it uh, to save Tuxedo Mask, and later on, she frees the other Senshi from this dome of darkness that Kunside has them enveloped, and he's squeezing it down on them. She saves them. Um, She's wearing her Sailor V mask at first, but then she takes it off. Sailor Venus. <laughs> so Venus is here. Minako, yay! Uh, so all five Guardians are together. And, you know, it's interesting. Earlier, while uh, they were... <coughs> um, the Senshi were talking, and one of, and, uh, one of them asks, do you think... I think one of the masks, Luna, do you think she, meaning Soicide, disguised as Sailor Moon, is the fifth guardian? So, they are aware that there's supposed to be five guardians as well? Well, what about that Usagi narrative segment, the one before the current one, where uh, Usagi says all four guardians are together? Again, <sighs> There really hasn't been any mention that there must be five Guardians, except for, you know, in the previous episode, Artemis mentions it to Luna through a Sailor V game, and now they mention the fifth Guardian again in this episode, but it really hasn't been a thing that the team was incomplete. Anyway, at the end of the episode, Usagi asks if Minaka might be the Moon Princess. Because it makes total sense that Sailor Venus would be the Moon Princess and not Sailor Moon. <sighs> really? <laughs> oh boy. Uh, anyway, this this was a fun episode. I really like the, uh, the location of, you know, being near the sea in a shipyard and there's a thunderstorm and I like when uh, Usagi appears uh, and makes her speech that she, that there's, you know, lightning flashing in the background and uh, yeah, it's like, this is cool. I, I, I love that whole feel of it. Um, 
anyway, so those are my thoughts on this episode, and uh, it's 3.22pm, and uh, that's it, thanks for watching.